What? All right. I'm doing a video review on RoboPet. I'm using my webcam because the battery in my video camera is low. And it's charging. So, here's the remote. Um, oh, man. My computer glitches all the time, so I can't see what you're seeing. Forward button. Um, right, left, back, stop. This... You can do nine tricks on this button. Push it however many times. Um, if you push it three times, it'll howl. Four times, it'll wave. Um, I think five, it'll pee. Six, jump. Um, seven, fart. Eight, dance. Nine, scratch. Um, this is the program button. You can program its tricks and its walking. None of these. Um, this is guard mode. This is demo. This is not every RoboPet remote has this, but every RoboPet has the feature. This is a hiding mode. It's like it chases the light on the remote. See, it has a green light. It chases that. Um, this is good dog. If it's free roaming and you wanted to do more tricks you push this a few times if you wanted to do less tricks you push the sad button All right, so I'll get started. Oh, it's on carpet. So it's not really gonna show my computer's glitchy So I can't see what you're see seeing But what's different from my RoboPet from everybody else's White ones is that mine has gold eyes. It's an updated version and it actually has support on the pins. All the white ones usually don't, are just black eyes, just pure black with no gold. And they have no support holding their springs on their legs. But this is an updated version. And it hasn't even turned yellow yet like most Robo Pets have. Maybe since it's an updated version it won't turn yellow, but it probably will. Because I can see it fading just a little bit since when I first got it. It's fading a little bit. But let's get started. I got it for five dollars at the thrift shop. Right, like, all right. Oh yeah, and if you push this once, it'll roll over. Twice, it'll play dead. See, it free roams its environment. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. It won't stand up on carpet. One, two, three, four, five. That's his jump. He's not working on this carpet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He doesn't do that on his own when he's free roaming. You have to make it do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't know if it'll be able to get up on this carpet. Oh, there we go. Yes. He's made so that when he's free roaming in his environment, if he falls over, he can get back up. Um, this is my 10th Robo Pet. All my others have broke. I've had two pinks, two greens, two purples, a gray, another white, which turned yellow now. I still have half the body. Silver chrome. The motor in his waist is bad. But this is what I mean. Most whites only have black eyes. And this one has gold. But turn it back on. I'll show you happy. That's the happy button. If you push it again, it'll do a different happy noise. Sad button. The sad one has three different actions. Um, and here's chase the light. If you. 
If you just press this, it'll walk and bark. You gotta, you gotta push the stop button first before you use it, or else it won't work. See, it just walks and barks. But, when, when you hold it down, when you hold it down, it'll try and chase the light. Apparently, oh, okay, well it won't work on carpet. Now I'll show you guard mode. It'll go if it hears a loud sound or something goes past it. His batteries may be a little low too. Just have him randomly on. His batteries are low too. A little bit. You press this again to take him out of guard mode. See? His motor and his waist is low out. And I'll show you the program button now. After he's done doing that. Alright, so you can make him do any of the top actions. You can make it walk forward, turn, back up. You can make it do a trick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then when you're done, you can re just push the P button, and that'll make it play its action. It's playing back what it put it programmed it for. It's playing back its program. It'll also watch out for obstacles as well on programming. I don't know how well this is turning out. My apologies if it's bad. I couldn't do anything else. And it's already done doing its program. Also, another scene. Alright, here we go. Right here, I don't think you can see it. Um, if you switch it in the middle, it's on edge detection. It has an edge detection so that when it, you put it on a table, it won't really, it tries not to walk off. It'll back up and it'll sense the edge. And when you put it all the way over here, it's not on edge detection. So that's when it's on the floor. It's, right now, it's on edge detection. It's on edge, edge detection. Now it's on non-edge detection. Only use edge detection on the table or else it'll constantly back up on the floor. And it won't, like, it won't really roam that great. So the one with the check mark on it in the middle is edge detection. The one with the X is not. Alright. Well, I think that was pretty much everything. Um, takes four double A batteries, three, no, not double A's, it takes four triple A's and four triple A's in the remote, and it has five motors inside, <laughs> but I think that's it, nothing much else to, like, his eyes, this is the motion sensors, where it can see its obstacles, Right there is a sound sensor when it's in guard mode or when it's sitting down and it wants a response. The speakers right there. And that's pretty much it. This video saves. I don't know if it's going to. It's been, it's been nine minutes already, really? Oh. So, yeah. And if you hold this down, it'll go to sleep. There we go. But if you don't use the remote, remote it'll immediately enter every time you push a uh, button after it's done with its action in five seconds it'll just start free roaming if you don't use the remote it'll free roam for nine minutes if you keep using the remote it'll never go to sleep but if you just 
toss the remote to the side and just watch him free roam. He roams for about nine minutes and he falls asleep. And you can wake him back up by holding down the stop button. Or you can just turn him off and on. That's what I always did. And you can also make him sit with the stop button. But that's it for now. Um. Bye. Sorry, my computer is still glitchy. I can't see anything. So. Good. This video is probably going to be bad. Okay. I'm going to stop. Okay, I don't know if it's recording. I think it is. Um, I also forgot to mention that there's about 10 to 12 different colors of RoboPets. And then there's about 24 in all because there's different versions. There's ones that have knobs on their heads, like little knobs. Kevin has the blue one and his has nods, knobs on its head, like little things that stick out of its head. And it has gold eyes. Um, so yeah, there's... A lot of different colors to collect and kinds. There's uh, green, blue, red, chrome. I've had all of them except the blue, red, and Dalmatian. There's a Dalmatian one. But that's pretty much what I forgot to mention. So that's about it. Um, yeah, but nothing's different about their performance of any of the versions or kinds. They, I'll do the same thing, but it's funner having a lot, because they it's like real dogs walking around, so. I don't think I have anything else for you. Mm. Like, all of us are doing a review on our RoboPets, Kevin, Chris, and me, so this was my review of my RoboPets, and, yeah, still trying to think if there's anything else, but. But, I guess that's it. So, bye. Subscribe. And...